welcome back to industry technologies with one more interesting video in which we are going to develop a football game in scratch so i have opened the website scratch.mit.edu in this website this is my stage and this is my coding area first i don't need this sprite i will delete the sprite i will click on delete the sprite i need some, some characters which i need for the football game another thing is that i need a backdrop of this stage so i will go to backdrops here click on this and search here i will go to sports this is a back perfect backdrop for a football game i will double click this and this is my backdrop i need characters so i will go to i will go to this uh, choose a sprite click on search sports click on sports this is a band character i need this this is one player I have selected this you need to note that this is a gif image and there are some costumes of this this is the first costume i will show you how if you will go to costumes here i have selected this ben and i will i am going to costumes you can see this is first costume this is second costume okay this is second costume in second costume he is kicking okay in third costume he is looking like this in fourth costume he is looking like this i need first which is ben a costume and this is ben b costume this costume i need when he is kicking the ball so this is actually a gif image if i will i will show you how it is a gif image i will again go to the sprite and search button this sports click the sports you can see if i am holding a mouse on this all costumes are working here now i will select this character jordan this will be another player so i will click on this this is my another player now i will choose one more sprite sports click on sports i need this soccer ball so i will click on the soccer ball this is a ball i got hold it here now i need to change the direction of this player so i will click on this jordan now this is selected direction go on direction and make it inverted and there is a option of flip so i will click on this now this is looking good so i need to change the size of each character so here it is a size it is 100 i will write it 50 this ball i need to change the size to 50 so i will click on the soccer ball i will change it to size to 50 i will click on this here ben change the size to 50 keep this ben over this line keep this girl over this line keep this ball at center now we need to code each and every character select this ben and go to events when flag is clicked initially we want this to be in a uh, in this costume because i will show you when i select this um, this sprite ban i will go to costumes he has four costumes this first second third and fourth initially i need i need it i need it in this costume when he kicks the ball i need to costume i need to change the costume to this kicking position this is another costume and this is another costume i need this costume ban a initially so so we will change it initially to ban a no doubt it is already in ban a but after playing the game we need to change it again to ban a when we initialize the game so i will go to switch looks here it is here it is looks then i have to switch costume to so we have to select ban a here it is selected ban d we have to select ban a why ban a if you go to costumes this is a ban a this is ban b here it is written it is named ban a ban b ban c ban d so we need to change it to ban a go to code and this is a ban a here i will declare a message broadcast message to this we have no use of this message this time but that broadcast message will be used when the game will be started so you will not understand that why i have uh, given a broadcast message here but you at the end of the project you will come to know so i will drop here broadcast i will declare a new message here so i will keep this uh, i will write ball start ball start We'll declare this uh, broadcast message ball start now i will go to motion and will go to glide glide here i will i want this player if it is if it is in this position i want this player should move back to this position okay so for that i will write here glide back to what is his current position 
if you will see his current position is minus 174 and y position is minus 156 if you will see here x position is minus 174 and y position is minus 56 so we need this position initially so i will write here minus 174 and y i will write here 56 so this will be the initial position we have not set started yet we have kept this player at his own position now i will wait for two seconds first if the game is when the game is started i will start i will wait for two seconds or one second whatever you want i will wait for one second okay after that i will start a sound so there will be a sound of referee whistle so here i will go to sound here play a sound start sound referee whistle okay so after that again i will wait for a one second control wait for one second and after that i have to uh, move this boy to this ball so i have to again use a glide motion glide glide so i have to move this to this ball so i have to i have to move this from here to there okay so what is this position we will see minus 16 and minus 59 glide to minus 16 and minus 59 okay if you will see i will play this if you will not find a referee whistle here you have to go to sound and you have to go to this sound menu search for referee whistle okay i will go here referee r e f r this is the referee whistle i have to double click this okay when you will click this you will come to you will you will get this referee whistle here okay i have done it twice so this this is done second time after uh, referee whistle wait for one second glide to this when this boy reaches to this ball this leg should be this leg position should be changed so that this will show this is kicking the ball so i have to change i have to change the costume of this ben character go to looks change costume this is change costume to which costume i need i will go to costumes this is a ben a and this is ben b i need this ben b costume go to code so i will change here ben b i will check is my game working well or not i will go click go you see this boy will move to ball and kick and it is kicking and this costume is also changed okay i will go to this message say hello okay say say hello so this hello i will change to another message that is goal say goal okay say say goal for one second okay then i i need to broadcast a message i need to broadcast a message events broadcast a message go to new message right here ball moves to j o r d y n jordan okay this broadcast message mm, is for some other work so i have to give a message this ben character that this ball has moved to this and some other task is to be performed on that basis so this was a code for this character now i will code this ball go to this go to this sprite soccer ball sprite now i'll code this so in this ben character i will go to ben character i have written here broadcast ball start when this ball start is broadcasted at that time the ball what should this ball at that time what should this ball do so i will go to the soccer ball and i will write here when when i receive when i receive here ball start because i have broadcasted it when ben was here when ball starts okay so that time 
I have to position this ball at this at its original position. If the ball is here, I have to keep this ball here initially. So at that time, I have to glide motion. Glide this. Glide to minus one and eighty-seven. Glide to this. Whatever is the exact actual position of this ball, keep the ball at the center exactly and write that position. That is minus two and eighty-nine. So minus two and minus eighty. Nine. This is not a much difference, but we are okay with this. This is one thing when a ball starts. We have two broadcasted messages: ball start and another broadcasted message is uh, this. If I will go to Ben, this was one broadcasted message, and this is another broadcasted message. When ball moves to Jordan, so I will work on this now. When ball moves to Jordan, so events when I receive, when I receive this, when I receive. Ball moves to Jordan. Okay, what should I do then? So when I receive ball moves to Jordan. So when this ball moves to moves to this girl, at that time what should happen? So that time I have to use the motion glide this ball. So motion glide glide because this means uh, this Ben this Ben character has kicked the ball, and what should happen to this ball? At this x position, we have to change this x position to this. When he will kick the ball, this ball will reach here. So, at this position, we have to change the value of x to this. Whatever will be the value of x here, and whatever will be the value of y here. One sixty-eight and minus one sixty. So we have to write here one sixty-eight and minus one sixty. Minus sixty, sorry, minus sixty. At this time, then uh, after that, when ball will reach here, we have to broadcast a message. Ball is at Jordan, so we have to go to events, broadcast a message. Ball is at Jordan. New message. Ball is at ball at J O R D Y N Jordan. So when ball is at Jordan, we will see what to do later for this. Yeah. Then I will see here if I will go to Ben character. There were two broadcast messages: ball start and ball moves to Jordan. We have written a code for this ball. Ball moves to Jordan. When the ball moves to Jordan, we have written the code for that here. Ball moves to Jordan. Now we will write a code for Jordan returns ball. So I will go to Jordan. I will go to Jordan. So first, I will write when I receive ball is at Jordan because I in uh, this in this soccer ball character. I will again click this. I have written here ball is at Jordan. For that, I will go here when I receive ball is at Jordan. I have to switch costume. I have to change the costume of this girl to B character. So we will go for this and we will see the costumes. I have to change the costume of this girl to this kicking position. Like this, okay. When ball moves to her, so this is Jordan B costume. So I will go to code again. Looks. Switch costume to Jordan B. Uh, and say nice try. Say nice try for two seconds, okay. Say nice try for two seconds, okay. Then broadcast a message. Go to events. Broadcast a message. New message. Here I will broadcast a message. Jordan returns ball. Okay. When this message will appear, when Jordan returns a ball. So what to do that time? I have to move again to the ball, this soccer ball, because this message I need in this ball. I have to change the position of the ball at this message. So I will go to this soccer ball. So when I receive, when I receive what uh, Jordan returns the ball. At that time, you have to glide first. Motion, glide. We have to because we have to move the ball. to this position to the goal of the ban so glide here what where it should glide this ball should reach here okay so glide to minus 231 and minus 64 minus 231 and minus 64 okay glide to this position 
and some sound should be started sound start sound so you have to click on this start sound go to sounds here we have to search a sound goal cheer this is a goal cheer sound we'll play this sound is to be used here go to code and select a goal cheer sound from this okay now wait for two seconds control wait for two seconds wait for two seconds and broadcast a message and game because we have to end at this time we have to end the game so broadcast events broadcast a message and game new message and game okay so when i receive end game first i will write here what should happen at end game so when i receive end game okay when i receive end game at that time you have to glide we have to move this ball to the center so we have to glide 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 this ball so i will see what is the position of this ball here to 0 and minus 87 okay 0 and minus 87 when i receive end game this should be also used in ban character okay drag this when i receive end game drag this to ban character also copy this to this jordan character leave it here okay go to ban when i receive end game and for that i will go i will glide now i have to glide this ban to this position to its original position also so you have to write here his original position what is his original position minus 174 and minus 56 minus 174 this is not actually the original position but this is the position we are okay with this minus 174 and minus 56 go to this jordan character here also when i receive end game i need to code this also so when i receive end game his we don't need to change it to original position because she is at original position we need to change it is uh, costume to jordan a character so we will delete this and we need to change the costume okay change costume looks change costume okay change costume to she is actually kicking here we need to change its costume to original position so that will be jordan a costume okay change costume to jordan a at the time of end and when i receive ball start so when i receive ball start events because at initial position what have what we have to do so that, that is the ball start position when i receive ball start which we have written in ban character okay so that time we have to wait wait for one second and switch costume to jordan a we will duplicate this switch costume to jordan a now we are done with our project we will check it and now i will play it in full screen mode you can see I, if i will click the go here if i will click if i will click go button here whistle is played and this character moves here now it is kicking this will kick back nice try this will kick back and goal happens now when i am clicking the go oh, go button here this will keep his leg straight you can see he is keeping these legs straight because this is starting of the game thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel industry technologies